All right, let's see what we got here. We got a radio, and I think this one was a gift. We have a cord, probably goes to our subject. We have money for return shipping. Uh, and let's see. We have the subject that needs to be repaired. This is a heavy ass radio, man. Jeez, what is this? Wow, this is a beast, and it's in nice shape. Sanyo Campanetta AMFM seven bands all wave. This is in really nice shape, and this is a heavy radio. So this is like their answer to the uh, transoceanic. Everybody had to have one of these. Now we have the internet, and shortwave is going away because it's so damn expensive. So let's read the complaint. Ooh, super heterotyne. Imagine that. I recently saved this radio from the landfill, and originally when I tried it, the FM worked fine. But after switching bands, it wouldn't come back. All the other bands work fine. I tried cleaning all the switches, but I can't for the life of me get the FM to come back. I really like this radio. I'd really love to have it working properly so I can use it. Well, I can imagine you probably would want the FM to work because... Your shortwave is is getting short, and uh, FM is kind of where it's at if there's anything left on broadcast radio. Let's see if it still does that. You know, these are the type of problems that you do something like ship it halfway across the country, and then it works. I'm not sure what switches what. I extended the antenna. What's weird is this doesn't seem like it's doing anything. What am I missing here? I mean, this sounds like FM. So is this just a tuning string issue? It, it, it certainly seems like this has no effect, but the fine tuning does have an effect, but the fine tuning only has an effect on uh, the AM bands, not the FM, of course. Well, let's have a look at the inside of the Campanetta. Um, two large, this is the audio amp, two large bar antennas. Looks like we got AMIF down here. Uh, I don't know if this is AM and FMIF. It looks like or maybe, I'm sorry, these are oscillator coils. This is the oscillator section right here. 
this is stacked both AM and FM just like on a modern you know radio but why this might be very very difficult to fix you know when it comes to these maybe there's something mechanical here that disengages one tuning capacitor and engages the other when you I don't know, let me look at it. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'll am i be one of the first people to admit that when it comes to fixing the, the electronic stuff, I love it. But the mechanical stuff, I mean, I can do it, but it just, it's annoying, you know. And there, There's people that have 3D printers and just love to do this stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm not one of them. I'm, I'm more of a deal with the electronics circuit board diagnose find out anyway um it looks like we have some type of belt here see this like a little cogged belt looks like i'm gonna have to take this off will this get me in there all right so here it is it's got these are the two tuning capacitors right here and right here and it uses these cogged belts to, to, to turn the tuning capacitors and both belts are broken. And I'm going to assume that what happened was addressing the complaint that I read. Um, it was just random that you changed bands and one belt broke and then the other belt broke sometime between you and me so now neither band works and the problem was not that the band stopped working it's that the belt broke and you lost the ability to tune that band all right so here's the thing where do we get these belts where do you get these belts you know they're they're cogged so they're like a timing belt you know they they can keep wow those are hard as a rock um you can't just put a you can't just put a, a regular you know slick belt on there because you would the tuning would never match the the dial indicator Let's see if it works. Where's my cord at? All right. So FM still doesn't work. Is this some type of permeability tuning or something where it's spring loaded? Yeah, it certainly is. There's the. Yeah, it's a slug. And that rope string pulls the slug up and down. It's. It's like Zenith, it's a permeability type dealie. Wow, so you gotta like get that thing 
wound up and then the timing of this belt lined up with the dial indicator that's a that's a good one I don't have the antenna up that's why it's so weak I want to be down with you Oh, little STP. Will she smell alone? Well, this is a good one. This is a good one. Sorry, Sanyo, this was dumb. This was very dumb, Sanyo. This is dumb. Well, I'm looking here, and of course I found a schematic, you know, which is something you don't need when you need belts but here it basically talks about the belts instructions for dial cord stringing so this is probably well, look at all this just a just a just a line up uh, drum on tuning capacitor just to line all this crap up But I'm not finding the belts yet. And I'm pretty good at finding parts for vintage stuff. And I don't know if you're going to find these because I don't think there were a bunch of these radios made. It's not like a Transoceanic where someone's going to do it aftermarket. Uh, let me work on it. Let's see what I can dig up. All right, let's see here. Old vintage Campanetta. Radio makes noise, but I can't. What do you want to bet? Uh, for parts only, radio makes noise, but I can't tune in any stations. No idea what the problem is. Well, we figured that out, didn't we? Okay, so I think this is what we want right here, but... Uh... All right, so what language is this in? And it's probably asking me if I want to accept cookies here. I believe this is it. So 40 euros for the belts. And I'm not even 100% sure those are the, yeah, those are, those are the belts. Okay, so what, yeah, they're in Italy. I found them, they're in Italy. And I wonder if these are old and hard originals. You know, when were these made? Are these new old stock and they're gonna be all hard and brittle too? Let's see if we can do a translate here. Sanyo belt, Sanyo bell, radio tuning strap kit, info on object, 40 euros, may not ship to United States, contact seller, well, You know what's interesting is, and I might have just overlooked this in the haste of trying to fix it, but why is this United Kingdom, United Kingdom, 
You know, maybe this is the other FM band because you notice how far I had to turn that and it only seemed like it got a few stations. No, this is 87 to 108. This is uh, the US 3 meter band. Okay, this is on shortwaveradioworld.blogspot.com. Sanyo Campanetta. Multiband radio is made by Japanese Sanyo Company. It's a rare thing to find these days, mostly because of the fact this model was made specifically for the Italian market. So there you go. Um, that makes sense why I'm finding the belts on an Italian eBay site. Okay. All right. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. So let's do a currency conversion. So $43 US dollars plus shipping if you could get the guy to ship it. Back to our Sanyo Campanetta. It's a month later and we have a package here from Italy. And the uh, owner of the radio arranged this, the purchase of the, I guess these are the belts off of eBay and had them shipped directly to me. A collector that puts his money where his mouth is. I like that. All you see is so much of this complaining about TVs being turned into dog beds because you don't want to spend a hundred dollars or drive 50 miles. It's refreshing to see somebody that actually wants to invest into saving something cool. Anyway, enough of that. Let's open this. Uh, I should say this straight up front. If these are from the 60s and they are hard and brittle and degraded plastic like this, and they break when I'm putting them on or shortly after, I'm not responsible for that. I already talked about that. You know, new old stock parts that are plastic and that degrade naturally over time are not really new old stock. Here we go. Ooh, we have an extra one. Let the good times roll. Guess maybe we just automatically assume that we're going to break one. And they're in a Mylar bag. So the dogs couldn't smell them at uh, customs. Let's see. Yeah, it's the right thing. It's the right color. Let me get them out here and fondle them. Well, they actually feel... Fairly supple. But so does this, except where it broke. The problem is with this is it has this, these permanent shapes. It's like the idler wheel in a record player. It's, it get, gets this pers permanent molded in um, shape from where it sat for. 40 years and was unused but this 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 feels much more supple finger it just a little bit let's see yeah see how this retains its yeah, I think we're going to be good here. I wonder if these are aftermarket or what. So here's my thought on how to do this. And I know there were, you know, exact instructions, but who the hell wants to be boring and follow the instructions? Here's my thought. Lay the front, the front with the numbers back on top here. Adjust the pointer so it's at 100 megahertz FM, put a mark. Then put it on AM, adjust it so it's at 1 kilohertz or 1000 AM, put a mark. Okay. Then what we use is we use our little 
uh, micro essay thing. Thank you, Bob Anderson, for stimulating me to buy this. Use this as a signal generator to put out 100 megahertz and 1,000 kilohertz and dial it in here and then and then try and get the belt on. So the first thing I'm going to do is lift this wheel up and put the belts underneath it. There is some stretch to these, not a lot, but I think there's enough to where it'll allow me to kind of uh, walk it over this pulley. So, yeah, I think that's probably the way to do it. So first put the belts underneath. Next, put the face back on, mark it at a thousand and a hundred, and then try and get the pointer there, adjust this to where we hear the tone from the signal generator, and then walk it over. I think that'll be about the closest way to do it. And then if it's not perfect, you can always tweak the alignment on the back and probably get it closer. But I should be able to get it within one tooth doing that. Of course, like a timing belt on a car, uh, this is going to be much, for it to be a, a tooth off on the small pulley is going to be a much higher degree angle than on the big pulley. So exactly, remove C-clip, slide that up, pop the belts on. I'm wondering what that contraption is down there. Looks like that has to engage with the bottom gear. You have to do the, the FM first because it's on the bottom. Um, so what I need to do is that string that wraps around there, I need to figure out which way it wraps around. So let me see if it's at the bottom of the band or the top of the band because it's spring-loaded here. So... Okay, so the country station is 105.1. Uh, that's at the top of the band. So right now with it loose, it's at the top of the band. So to do the... Uh, the IQ puzzle here. So right now it's like that. So it turns that way. So it turns this way. Because that string will wrap around the post either way. So that's the way it rotates. It rotates counterclockwise. So the next thing we want to do is adjust this to a hundred. See where is FM? FM is right here. So well we have 101. Um, we could probably do 101. Let me double check and get it perfect. I've marked it there at 101. Oh, I thought I did, but so right there, it's 101. Okay, so give me convenience or give me death, right? Uh, let's see, have to have to relearn how to use it, how to put it on signal generator mode. Okay, so signal generator uh, modulation. Let's see, we want to put it on. 101, no, 101 megahertz, okay, negative 17 dBm, let's see, modulation, FM, 1000 hertz, 3 kilohertz deviation, that's okay, uh, so we should be transmitting. So, let's plug the radio in. 
and this is going to take two hands and it's going to be frustrating and there's probably going to be a lot of cursing so I just got the output laying right here so let's see Oh, you have to turn the output on. There we go. So there it is. Let's kill the level a little bit. I don't really want to do a tripod because I want the freaking close-ups. I guess I could cut the deviation down. That would. But yeah, now what I got to do is I got to try and walk the belt on with the pointer right there. Got a double hump there, which is going to make it more fun. All right, let me get it on. I'll be back. This is what I mean by walk it on. All right. Let's see how close I got. Oh, I got it right on. How about that? Damn, that was too easy. Wow, I'm a pro. All right, now we just need to do a uh, hundred megahertz. I mean, hundred one megahertz. AM. I gotta figure out which one of these is a which button is AM. But well, let's put the front back on it and mark it. Well, interestingly, a thousand on the broadcast band right there is straight in line with 101. So I could use the same mark. Now what I need to do is just find out what button is uh That does not sound like it to me. That's FM. This might be, if it, if it goes down, this might be long wave, medium wave. No. 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 I like this. I was in the 20s again. And I've only been on Astapex for two months. Yes. But now this is going to be difficult because I'm going to be competing with all the freaking radio stations here. So let's see. Uh, one megahertz. Oh yes, this product has saved my life. 
AM depth. Okay. I love this product. More products are better. Oh, yes. That sounds like it, and it sounds like we have something on 1000 AM. Let me. You can hear the beat frequency, the difference between the two. You can hear how much a signal generator is off. It's off a little because it's brrrr, but what, a few hertz? Just bury the other guy. So now what I need to do is just walk this belt on right here. That's it. Assuming, so if we turn it this way, that's up. So if I go up, I should hit K and X. Yes. Save up to forty dollars on tickets at knots.com. So that's it. Just have to walk this one on and we're done. Put the clip back on. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna crank it. Crank the tuning knob here and walk it around. I got it. I got it. The splines forced into the pulley on both sides. No such luck. I ended up way off. Hope I can get it off and do it again. Damn. I got it pretty close. Uh, I, I tried. I had it below and above. That's about as close as I can get it. I can tweak the variable capacitor to get it right on. But one thing I don't like about these belts, and this is something that I've seen in the Soviet radios, they have stretch to them. Um, and I, that drives me nuts. Like, watch, watch. I mean, I guess that's why they give you the fine tuning here. And yeah, the fine tuning will probably bend it. And let's see if we can. Yeah, I don't like the stretch in the belts. That drives me nuts, but who am I? This is a badass radio. There probably aren't but a handful of these in the United States. And this is probably the only one that works with new belts. This is a rare uh, specimen right here. And uh, now I need to try and figure out how to put it back together because, you know what, after a month, I done forgot. It took me some time and referring back to the videos to get all the hardware reinstalled where it was. Um, but I got it. I had video and photos of everything. So I'm just, I glued, this was broken when it got here, this tab. So that yellow stuff there is some contact cement. I'm just letting that dry before I seal it up. I don't want the radio to have too much xylazine inside of itself or else it might never come back. So I'll let it dry and then we'll do everybody's favorite band sweep. I bet this is a hell of a performer. Ooh, it's Ryan's favorite song.
Okay, I'm on AM. It works just the same, but it's 95% cheaper, and you can get it online. And when it comes, it doesn't matter. It's 800. Please persist with an explicit warning up until 8 o'clock tonight. This is for Santa Barbara and Ventura County Mountains, San Gabriel Mountains, as well as the Antelope Valley. We could see highs across parts of the Antelope Valley, as high as 105 to 110. Mostly cloudy skies today for inland L.A. and Orange County, pretty much across the board around Southern California, those mostly cloudy skies. Highs in the 80s to 90 for L.A. and Orange County, mid-70s out near... Yeah, it's summer. It's hot. So stop... Stop saying it's breaking news every day that it's going to be over 100 degrees in the desert you know stop i mean we we know you're trying to promote climate lockdowns coming soon to just stop we get it just do it just just limit our limit our consumption slap me down daddy beat me down And the mightier 1090 ESPN Radio remind you to visit the village, shop, dine, take a look around, cost and stop collections, and get you. So it does 1070, 1090, uh, and then whatever, 11, whatever. It, selectivity is good. Let's see if we get our uh, Mexican station out of Baja, California, our music station. 800 687 <laughs> Trying, and I... That sounds like it. Like myself before, I still have painful memories and regret. <laughs> Let's do FM. I put you on the runway. You was rocking coach bands. Got you Shanene. Side to Frisco. I call him my baby. Oh, I got my Shanene. There's no reason why my being so shy should keep us apart. That's K Jazz. The radio exchange. A lot of noise in the FM. Hear the hiss? That should be really quiet. And if you creep it, please cause it was hell. So the sound quality is a, a 9 out of 10 for a radio like this. It really sounds good. You know, its own bass and treble control. Delmar, our The sensitivity on FM is kind of average. You know, I would expect, I would expect more, honestly, from this. But yeah, the FM sensitivity is kind of just like okay, all right, I get it. It's not superb. It's not killer by any any. I, I think the SDR radio might be a little better than this. Mm -hmm. 
not on a whole lot on shortwave anymore. See these, you'd have to look at the manual, but these are not labeled how they could correspond to this down here, so. President Sean O'Brien. The World War to the Walls. I'd like to have a high. We'll find out more as we. Or the people that touch those packages. This is probably long wave, and these are images from the AM broadcast band. See, I'm not. Let me see if I can find one of the time uh, marker things. So, yeah, WWV is what I'm looking for. So let me go back to this and do 10 megahertz. Uh, 10 megahertz. Um, modulation, let me do AM. Oops. Got too much modulation. We'll do 40%. Uh, okay, frequency 1000 hertz. Let's see. It's going to be really strong. Let's do uh, minus 37 and turn it on this time. And let's see if we can find 10 on here. doing wrong here 10 megahertz minus 37 on let's let's make it a little bit hotter make it minus 27 make it minus 17 why not crank it up baby I would think it would be this one. Oh yeah Pretty close. So no WWV there. Uh, let's do 15. So 15 should be on this button. Down here, that's 15.5. Again, no WWV. Let's do five. Uh, 
so five megahertz would be up here that would Well, maybe I need to take it outside to get shortwave. Must be the, the wire stucco walls in the house. But, um, I could do that. I could take it outside. Maybe that's why the FM seems so lackluster also. Okay, outside with the Campanetta. Oh yeah, there it is. chances you have to win. Download the free iHeartRadio app for access to winning like never before. KFI. KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. This is How to Money. I am your host, Joel Arsgaard. And every once in a while, I, I like to bring on a good friend of mine, producer Victor, because he uh, just, he's got great money questions. I feel like Hear how fat that sounds? A full IF band with the... It sounds good. It sounds really listenable. Listen to how fat it sounds. I'm not saying you're as uninformed as I was at your age. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the case. You seem to know what you're doing more than more than I did, but um, I always yeah, appreciate you coming on and bringing your question. So, yeah, you've got a... in Cleveland and the Browns are the team that I 2021 the country yeah right there's a fact that I get luck or well You'd be staring at a Reese's peanut butter cup. Need at the price you want. Get the ground advantage. Well, I'll say this. I guess I'm just honest. The Sony TFM 1000 smokes this thing. The AM performance, AM shortwave performance might be close, but the FM is not even. I, I don't know that. The Sony even on AM is ridiculously hot. It's like too hot. You can only use it out away from the city because it's just, it blows out. It's so sensitive. But this is a very nice radio and I think it's it's very rare and good luck finding another one somewhere that works. I 
was saying, yeah. <gasps> among a lot of security. Yeah, time to ship it home.